What's up, everyone, at Five Reasons? This is Christian Chase coming back at you with another Marlins Minute. I am doing it from my bed today because I am mentally and physically exhausted after a, an extremely just challenging finals week, but I made it through. Uh, but the Marlins may not be so lucky going into the game two against the San Francisco Giants tonight. They split two against the Baltimore Orioles at home and lost game one to the Giants to start the series since I've done a Marlins minute. The Marlins are struggling. Uh, the injury bug is biting this team all around. Uh, the starting pitching, which we know Sixto and Eliezer are hurt. Brian Anderson's hurt. Starling Marte is out. And this team looks to be in a little bit of a funk. Keep in mind that they still are the only NL East team with a positive run differential, which is definitely something positive to look at. And even more positive tonight, the Marlins have their ace, Sandy Alcantara, on the mound. The dude has been great this year, and there's no doubt about that. Even his ERA may be a little higher than what it actually should be. All advanced metrics show it should be much, much lower. Uh, the ERA that it is at, I believe a 3.8, is most likely due to external causes within the game, such as ball placement uh, off the bat, which you can't really control for. So look out for Sandy tonight to use the changeup early on in the game and early in counts to get ahead. If Sandy can do that, he should have a good game tonight. The Marlins go up against Alex Wood, who shut down the Marlins last Sunday uh, in that nice pitching battle between Pablo Lopez and Alex Wood. One run was scored in that game and an unearned run at that. So look for in the Marlins' second look against Alex Wood to put some runs up and hopefully come away with a victory with their ace on the mound tonight and head into games two, three and four with an opportunity to win the series and or tie the series.